Dan, I'm here by the Salinas River, and if you take a look behind me, you can see the water levels are still pretty high, and this begs the question, is the river ready to see substantial rainfall this upcoming winter? And local ag experts tell me that it's not. The National Weather Service is ramping up their operations this week as we enter the winter season. We're in really good shape uh, to start the year. Because of the atmospheric rivers from earlier this year, the drought is nearly non-existent and reservoir levels are at above average. As El Nino gains strength, many assume that automatically means an excessively wet winter. But KSBW's chief meteorologist Lee Solomon says not all El Ninos are created equal. El Nino for us here on the Central Coast really depends on whether it's a strong or moderate El Nino. Now this one right now currently is at least moderate, possibly trending to strong. So if we end up with a strong El Nino, which is still yet to be determined, that generally would correlate to a stronger winter for us, meaning more rain than average. It's hard to forget these devastating images of flooding of ag fields earlier this year. Ag leaders say if we see substantial rainfall this season, it's very likely we will see a repeat this next winter. Are we ready for more rain? Well, the condition of the river channel is not substantially changed from where we were in March and April of this year. So the answer to that is probably no. Group says not much has been done to bolster our local waterways like the Salinas River because of permitting constraints and lack of cooperation from state and federal agencies. We did not see a whole lot of movement in trying to get more work or concerted efforts to do flood mitigation, but also improve the environment of the channel itself. And unfortunately, we just haven't gotten there this year. And Lee tells me that even though we don't have any significant storms on our immediate horizon, when we head into those winter months like January and December, that's when we can see those more likely. Reporting in Salinas, I'm Brisa Colon, KSBW, Action News 8.